Kristen Rayworth was in her early 20s when she started working in the Alberta legislature. Almost immediately, she was warned not to get on an elevator alone with Kent Hare, an MLA at the time. But it happened. So what exactly was said on the elevator? So he looked me up and down and he called me yummy. That interaction disturbed Kristen Rayworth for nearly 10 years. But she didn't do anything about it until explosive allegations about another politician broke. I reject these accusations in the strongest possible terms. Rayworth started messaging with her friends on Facebook about Patrick Brown, but the discussion quickly turned to Hare. Everybody knew. Everyone, everyone had a story. Everyone had something about him, I mean, and politics in general. And I thought, okay, I'm going to tweet this out and see, and just put it out there. Hare was forced to resign from Cabinet. The next morning, Rayworth woke up to hundreds of messages from complete strangers on Twitter, email, and Facebook. I had a message from someone telling me that he hoped I got raped and killed because that's what I deserved for being a lying whore. I had no idea what to do. I just wanted it to stop. And in that moment, you feel like, <clears throat> I wish I had never said anything because this is not worth it. Rayworth worked with police and security after she received death threats. They did a security assessment of my apartment, a security assessment of my workplace. They gave me a GPS panic button, which I still have with me. Hare still sits as a Liberal MP. The investigation is ongoing, and he says he's committed to the process. Rayworth says she isn't satisfied with how the self-described feminist PM handled him. Before they were government, they had two MPs that were accused of harassment and they were immediately kicked out of caucus. So I do not understand why that same measure hasn't been taken in this situation. But there are those who question the severity of Rayworth's allegations, that Hare's yummy comment didn't reach the bar for harassment. What happened to me was sexual harassment, but sexual harassment exists on a spectrum. Rayworth says her Me Too tweet was worth it, despite all the criticism and abuse. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Edmonton. It wasn't the first time that Kent Hare had been at the center of controversy. The former minister has been accused of making inappropriate comments to Canadians seeking his help. Here's what a group of thalidomide survivors accused Hare of saying to them at a meeting last December. You don't have it so bad. Everyone in Canada has a sob story. Lots of people have it bad in Canada. Disabled people, poor people, not just you. They also claim that he mocked their reduced lifespans as, quote, good news for the Canadian government. In 2016, Hare was accused of making inappropriate remarks to two women seeking more federal support for veterans. One of them was the wife of a former soldier with PTSD. And he's like, well, you married him. It's your responsibility. Another woman, a veteran benefits advocate, said Hare responded to her question with a dark joke about spousal abuse. Hare has apologized for all of those incidents.